Front has come through and winds picking up and gusting over 30 miles an hour this afternoon will be the beginnings of that cooler air. So all of that mild air that we've had over the last several days whisked away with lows eventually in the 30s later on this evening. Winds will come down some, but we will likely continue to see the breeze at 10 to 20 plus miles an hour overnight tonight as temperatures fade back into the upper 20s up north and in the upper 30s to near 40 in southern New Hampshire. Still a brisk wind out there tomorrow, but a totally different for an atmosphere instead of 50s, 60s and lower 70s like we have out there early this afternoon. We are talking temperatures as high as only in the 40s to near 50 and obviously it will feel even chillier than that. We drop into the 20s later Tuesday night highs on Wednesday back into the upper 40s to lower 50s with a big area of high pressure right overhead that will start to move offshore Thursday. So what is either side of 50 on Wednesday? turns to the lower 60s on Thursday with sunshine, and then we start to increase the clouds gradually on Friday, and then eventually the next system starts to arrive. Looks like rain chances will be likely for the day on Saturday. What we will see as far as rainfall amounts from that system to be determined as we get through about midweek when the maps start to agree a little bit more. Here's a look at your seven day forecast, and it is a bumpy ride here for the second week of November. Temperatures starting off warm this afternoon, cooling off for the next few days and evenings, and then another warming trend for Thursday and Friday ahead of the next system arriving Friday night and Saturday.